Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes I'm going to be showing you how to properly set up the WooCommerce plugin for use with your My Theme Shop theme. So first you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard and go to plugins and then add new. And here we're going to install the WooCommerce plugin by doing a quick search for WooCommerce and just click search plugins. And this will search the WordPress plugin directory for the WooCommerce plugin and you'll see it's the top result there and you just want to click install now. It will ask if you're sure you want to do this and just click OK. WordPress will now download the plugin from the WordPress plugin directory and all you want to do now is activate it by clicking activate plugin. With that up and running you can skip the setup for now and we'll come to that later. WooCommerce will now welcome you to the plugin but we want to now head over to the My Theme Shop members area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member here, as we're using the MagXP theme, I can download the theme options content and import it into my site. So I'm going to expand MagXP here and download the demo data. With that downloaded, I'm just going to open that folder and unzip it. And now with that extracted, I want to go into that file and open up the options panel settings MagXP shop file in my text editor. So I'm just going to open that with a notepad. And all I want to do is do control A to select all of that or the equivalent on your Mac and then just copy that. And then we're going to import those settings into the My Theme Shop options panel. So if we now head back to your WordPress dashboard and go to appearance and then theme options and then scroll all the way down to import export. And here we want to class import code and paste in that code we've just copied there. Hit import and the options panel is going to import all of those default options for us and set up the site as you'll find in the demo for the shop on mythemeshop.com. And we can see that's imported successfully. So we're now going to create a new page which we'll be using as the shop and we're going to set that as our home page. So you want to go to pages and then add new. And here we're going to create our shop just by creating a new page and giving it the title shop and clicking publish. And we also want to create a blog page, which will use the settings from the MagXP options panel. If you don't know how to set that up, then check out the previous video. Um, but we just need to use a second page and give it the title blog in order to create a blog style page here. You don't need to add any content to either of these pages. The theme will manage all of this, but just make sure your permalink, which is this bit here, is set up such that it's good for your search engine optimization. So you'll probably just want it to say blog well, just make sure it's not something like blog-2 or anything like that. Once you're happy with that though, now you want to head over to settings and then reading. And here we can set those two pages um, to display on the front page of our website and as the post page. So you want to click front page displays and then this radio box here. And then go for shop for your front page and posts for blog. And click save changes once those are done. And now if you visit the front page of your website, and you'll see here I have this shop set up with this lovely template here. And if I go over to my blog page, which I've also loaded up, then you'll see that I have my latest blog post displaying in reverse chronological order here as I've set them up in the theme options panel. If you're not seeing any page set as your homepage, then just make sure that you've saved those settings under settings and then reading. And if you've already done that, then just make sure the page is named correctly once you created it. So it just wants to be blog and shop for those two. Any queries though, then head over to the support forum and one of the support team will be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching.